Have you been running a busy life and been missing out on these serious gains happening in the crypto space? Well, I'm here to share with you some exciting news with tokens this week and what is to come. So stick around and I might be able to help you out. Hello my crypto friends, I'm Dee Lawson and welcome to another weekly review of the crypto market. It has been so awesome this week and I'm looking forward to what is to come. So today we're going to share with you information on insured finance, we've got hard protocol, we've also got AuraChain and Kyber Network, as well as some launches to look out for upcoming. So let's jump into it. So the first one on our list is Insured Finance. They will be having their mainnet launch by the end of February. Now, Infi is a peer-to-peer -peer insurance marketplace powered by Polkadot. Now, this allows users to request insurance while enabling others to provide coverage. So Infi will be launching their minimum viable product known as the MVP by the end of this quarter. So while Infi has been on the market for quite a few weeks now, their white paper though is still in development. Something that is currently available is their tokenomics, which currently outlines 20.8% to sales, 45.8% to liquidity, 12.5% to operational reserves, 15% to team and advisors, 1.7% to the community, and 4.2% to their vault. Personally, it'll be interesting to see what the competitive rate will be for such insurance and how they will ensure that their users who potentially get involved in rug pulls will be compensated as well as the people providing the coverage for it also. The other token on our list is Hard Protocol who will be launching their version 2 by the 4th of March. If you remember one of my videos in late January, we, went, we took a bit of a deep dive into Carva in their roadmap and Hard Protocol version 2 was a part of that for the Carver 5 upgrade. So the Hard Protocol version 2 will allow users to supply assets as well as borrow them. This will actually help the platform complete their aim for a cross-chain lending market. So with the release of the version 2, there will be about 6 tokens, also with BTC, BUSD, BNB and even LINK is a part of that, will actually be incorporated in the supply and borrow incentives. Now remember, Hard Protocol will only continue to expand as Carver continues to build out on its DeFi ecosystem. So the third one on our list is Oray Chain. They will be launching their mainnet on the 24th of February. Now this news was announced late January and looking at it today, they seem to be quite on path to meet this target, which is great. So what is Oray Chain? Well, it is the world's first artificial intelligent oracle. So ArrayChain is a data oracle that aggregates and connects artificial intelligent APIs to smart contracts and applications. So let's say someone wanted a smart contract. Well, they've got to call an oracle script that is available on the Array gateway or marketplace. Then a random willing validator is chosen to fulfill this request. The chosen validator will fetch data from one or more AI providers on behalf of the user after executing the testing scenarios. Now, if the AI provider fails in testing, the request is cancelled. Now, to know if a request has been successful, the results will be written in the array chain blockchain. Compared to band protocol and Chainlink, the API testing based test cases is a unique functionality. So since ArrayChain focuses on artificial intelligent APIs, testing is very important to control the quality of AI providers. Test cases in the ArrayChain marketplace encourages AI providers to improve the accuracy of their AI models. According to the white paper, ArrayChain has quite a few use cases. One of those is yield farming using AI services on ArrayChain. The other is flexible smart contracts utilizing face authentication. So for example, you use your face to check your balance instead of your private keys. Something to note is ArrayChain actually revamped their tokenomics and are burning 73% of their tokens. According to their Medium article in December 2020, the Asia Pacific AI market size is due to have a 42.4% compound annual growth rate between 2020 and 2027. 
Now, another token on our list is Kyber Network, who will be providing a version 3 upgrade. Now, Kyber Network is one of the first movies in the decentralized exchange space. However, they really failed to build the momentum and take their market share. So they admitted in October to their community the constraints and challenges that they had to responding to the evolving changes in DeFi due to their architecture. However, now KNC are planning to reconfigure their architecture to be from one a single protocol into a hub of purpose-driven liquidity protocols that are catered to the different DeFi use cases. Now, Kyber Network is an on-chain liquidity protocol. The 3.0 upgrade will introduce a new DeFi innovation known as dynamic market making. So Kyber Network are claiming that this new upgrade will eliminate problems that other large decentralized trading platforms currently face, such as capital efficiency and high slippage. The DMM is seen to be an improvement over automated market makers known as AMM, as it is much more capital efficient, allowing dynamic fine tuning of trading parameters for liquidity pools. What this means is the liquidity pool operator using DMM can adjust their pricing curve in advance on particular tokens. The DMM automatically will adjust fees for liquidity providers based on market conditions. This will in turn prevent impermanent loss which can occur on AMM such as Uniswap when price fertility occurs. According to the CEO and co-founder, this upgrade to Kyber Network will allow them to be the hub for liquidity innovation and growth. Now, the upgrade will occur in two phases, which is Katana and Kaizen, with the planned completion by the third quarter of 2021. The other launch on our list today is Public Mint, also known as Mint, who will be doing their IDO launch on Pokestarter on the 23rd of February. Now, Public Mint are bridging fiat to crypto. It is a complete platform for synthetic fiat, regulated and fully collateralized with funds held on deposit with FDIC insured financial institutions. The public mint network brings fiat to the blockchain and integrates crypto into the global economic system of today. According to their white paper, the product does this in a secure, scalable and efficient way while also being compliant with regulations. Now, Public Mint's platform is actually already live with US dollar available and it is fully insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, known as FDIC. Now, there are plans to expand the currencies available to Euro and British Pound by the early 2021 with further currencies to also come. Public Mint are launching the Mint token and a governance community. Now this will allow Mint token holders to decide on everyday aspects such as funding distribution. So Public Mint plan to launch their mobile and web wallet which will allow pay and send, withdrawals, deposits and earn options. The advanced section of this application will allow vote and create proposals, stake and unstake and pool allocations. So what have we done here at Adapt Crypto this week? You may have noticed we did a gem update on Theta Network. Let us know your thoughts and I'll put it above just in case you have missed it. We also provided a new gem review of DAO Ventures known as DVG. So go check that out. I'll also put the link above. Upcoming this week, we plan to give you some more gem reviews. I believe we're going to expand a bit more on this public mint and also do something on Superfarm. So stay tuned for that. Well, everyone, thanks for joining me for another weekly review of the crypto market. There wasn't so much mass adoption news this week that I wanted to share. So I've just gone a bit more in detail on some upcoming token news to share with you. And I hope you liked it. So if you haven't done so already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are a friendly bunch of crypto enthusiasts not just us and the team of Adapt Crypto, but also in our community. So if you want to stay up to date on some news that's circulating or just want to know what our plays are at this point in time, then join our Telegram and Discord channel and get involved. Well, that will about do it for me this week. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dee Lawson and I'll see you next week for another weekly review of the crypto market. See you everyone.